it's Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Need a little bit of help with your maths? Well, hopefully this video will make things a little bit clearer. Let's go and have a look and see. In this video, we're looking at adding mixed fractions and improper fractions. And in this first example, we're going to look at some improper fractions. So my checklist says, add together any whole numbers. And there's no whole numbers in this example, two quarters plus nine thirds. Then it says find a common denominator for the fractions. So I need to find the lowest common denominator. So 4, 8, 12, I think 12 might be one. 3, 6, 9, 12 is in that times table. So the lowest one that I can do is 12. So to make this number 12, I multiplied 4 by 3. So 2, I'm also going to multiply by 3. To get to 6. Then to make this number here 12, 3 multiplied by 4 gets me to 12. So 9 multiplied by 4 equals 36. So now it says I have to add together the new fractions and simplify if possible. I've got the same denominator so I can add the numerators together which gives me 42 twelfths. Now I can simplify this to be a mixed fraction with some whole numbers. So I know that 12, 24, 36 is three lots of 12. And I'm gonna have six twelfths left over. And I can simplify that even further to be three and a half, because I know that I can make that fraction even smaller. So remember, from this stage, you find your common denominator you add together the totals and then you can just change that improper fraction into a mixed fraction with a whole number and simplify if possible. Next, we're going to have a look at what happens if you have mixed fractions to start off with. So if I have a whole number like six and a quarter plus a whole number and another different fraction, tenth, what I can do is I can actually add together the whole numbers first of all. So 6 plus 1 equals 7. And then I can add those fractions on this side. Quarter and a tenth. Now we go and find a common denominator for those fractions. So I know that the nearest lowest common denominator is going to be 20 for these. So it's going to be 7 plus something over 20 and something over 20. So 4 times 5 gets me to 20. So I'm going to times by 5 and get 5 twentieths. 10 times 2 got me to 20 down here. So 1 times 2 is 2. Then I add together the new fraction. So this is going to be 7 plus 7 twentieths. And that's going to be my final answer because I can't simplify it anymore. So I can just write it as 7 and 7 twentieths like this. So it's slightly different with a mixed fraction in that you can actually have a very simple step at the beginning and add together the whole numbers. I hope this been, has been a little bit helpful um, and has extended on from our video about adding fractions. Thanks for watching this video today. Brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.